Hey guys, it's Freddie Tech with CFL Tech and I have a breaking sports streaming story. Now this media news story is from the desk.net and it will be linked down below. Now this is showing here that Fox, ESPN and Mortar Brothers Discovery form streaming sports venture. So this is very big. Now this shows here as well that the Wall Street Journal said that the three broadcasters will launch a new streaming service that combines their various sports telecast rights and other assets. So they have a lot of assets and rights that will make this a very big venture. So it's very exciting to see this. And now this says here the service is expected to launch later this year and will be available to subscribers of Disney-owned Hulu and ESPN+. Plus as well as WBD's streaming service, Max. So with all of these options, you have you know TNT, TBS, and you have the rights for NFL, NHL, all the major sports, MLB, NBA. So you have a whole coverage of all of the professional sports that are out there. Now you'll have access to this. Of course, it'll be additional, it'll, an additional cost, we do know that sports programming is not cheap to acquire. The licensing and all that and the telecast rights is very expensive. And that's why we've seen so many price increases on a lot of live TV streaming services. And then you see additional RSN fees for regional sports networks. So it's very expensive to have this programming on these TV systems and on these streaming apps. So we'll see what the pricing will be like. There's no name yet, no pricing. It's going to be later this year that this will launch. So the uh, users of these apps mentioned will have access to the service. So we'll see what happens in the next few months as this gets closer. We'll get more details on it. So what are your thoughts on this? Is this something you would subscribe to if the price is right? Now when we say the price is right, what are we looking at? $50 a month? $60 a month? It, this will not be a $20 to $30 a month service or you can forget that you know you look at a standalone streaming app now maybe you pay 20 to 30 per month or a regional sports streaming app you look at this on a grander scale will it be anywhere near what youtube tv costs you know at their base plan at 72.99 or 73 dollars a month so it'd be very interesting where it falls but we also see, you know, this will be a complex thing. This has to still get approved yet. So there's a lot of steps that have to go through the, you know, the legal process and all that and making sure that uh, no one's stepping on it, someone else's toes. So with rights and all that. So it's going to be very interesting. So what are your thoughts on this? Put your comments down below. This article be, uh, will be linked down below if you want to check it out. So not a big read, but it's a very interesting one from the desk.net. So thank you to them. Put your comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops from CFL Tech. Freddie Tech will be checking out of this one. Soon to be back with another. Take care.